Hey friends, welcome back. This is a second launch for today and we are right across from the Indian River. As you can see behind me, the vehicle assembly building. We just saw a launch from Space Launch Complex 41 and now they're launching from Space Complex 40. But today's launch is just going to be so historic for South Korea. South Korea is actually going to the moon with NASA's help though. This has been a 10 year program for South Korea. The Korean Aerospace Institute signed a lunar exploration mission with NASA, which will really increase the possibility of exploration of the moon for NASA. This mission will come in two phases. The Keplo is the Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter. And then followed by that will be the KLE, the Korean Lunar Explorer. The KLE, which consists of an orbiter and a lander equipped with a small rover that only weighs about 44 pounds. The goal of the Korean missions is to investigate what the environment is, as well as looking for resources that are on the moon. And NASA can always use other eyes on the moon. The data will be collected and provided by NASA, and it will be using six different instruments. One instrument will be checking for water with a dark shadow camera. That way it can look deep inside the crevices of craters to see if there's any ice. It will have a high resolution terrain imager as well. That way it can look for landing sites for future exploration. And it will also be checking for the magnetic strength of the moon and have a very powerful Wi-Fi. That way it can communicate from the moon to earth. It's almost like a copy and paste from the capstone mission from Rocket Lab. The KLE in the second phase will be launched together on an AKSLV-11 Korean rocket. South Korea has had a pretty successful space program with many orbiters and many satellites launched into space. I believe in my opinion, they're just getting started. This will be a major milestone for South Korea, joining one of humanity's best races ever the new space race. Keplo will be traveling to the moon pretty much just like Capstone did, taking multiple slingshots around the Earth to reach its target. It's the most efficient way to get to the moon, using the gravity from the Earth, the Sun, and the moon all at the same time. However, though, the burns need to be precise. If they mess up the timing by just a fracture of a second, Keplo can go ahead and enter the orbit of a different satellite from a different country, and we don't want that to happen. It's definitely something to be super excited about, especially if you're South Korea. And I'm hoping that they have a smooth mission. I know it's a little windy, so hopefully the upper level winds stay within normal. And if this mission actually succeeds with no issues at all, South Korea will be the seventh country to ever reach lunar orbit. I am beyond excited about this launch. And instead of me talking, let's check it out.